TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And uh, currently we got a, um, a slightly mixed bag out here. The Dow is off 51 points. The S&P is down 7. NASDAQ 100 is off 17. Russell's up 11. Composites up 3. Semis are off 12. Trannies are down 4. Gold is down five bucks. Silver's off 30 pennies. Lights we crude is off a buck. Let's go take a look at our indice charts. I believe yesterday we explored the index ETFs out here. Let's go take a look at the index charts. And as we look at the index charts, well, that'd be as soon as I can populate them. Here we go. The upper left hand corner. So we got the Dow, SP, NASDAQ 100, Russell, Semis, Transports, the VIX, and the XAU. So we have eight charts out here, in essence, that you can trade by ETFs and so forth. So in the case of the Dow Jones Industrial, we'll just simply expand this up here, take a look at what we see. And what we don't see out here is any kind of a topping pattern. So the Dow is not top. Granted, price is below its oscillator and change line. That suggests a further retracement. So it's not an all-out bullish mode. Trading above, staying above the green oscillator and change line, 35, 4, 34. Well, that would change that condition altogether. But no bearish signal yet inside of the Dow Jones Industrial and that has me thinking the markets move higher into October. Now, if that's going to happen, then we'll see the TD9 count pattern inside the S&P 500. That formed yesterday. We will see that pattern fail. If the spot volatilics remains above its 50-day exponential moving average, right now the 50-day exponential moving average is, where is it, Stevie? It is at 17.50. Prices at 1778. So as long as price remains above 1750, the S&P could easily tag its breakout level of 440.86. That's the S&P. The Nasdaq 100. It has a road momentum indicator top, but all price has done is just traded sideways. So it hasn't broken down out there. Uh, the Russell 2000. Heck, it has a top from long ago. Road momentum indicator top. I think back in May that it still hasn't taken out. Um, you know, price below its red oscillator and change line. Price may continue to move lower. I'm not talking today. We looked at the Russell 2000 equity futures charts. Notes seem to indicate that it wanted to move higher. The SAX. If you take a look at the semiconductor index, yesterday, bar number six. Today, bar number seven. That says the semiconductor index, if it can form a TD9 count, that would be between tomorrow, Thursday, and Monday, above 32.1698. That's going to put the semiconductor index on a long trade. Of all these charts that uh, look uh, good out here, it's probably that one for a bottom sometime in the next few days. Take care, folks. The reality is that navigating.